Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you can see, I, I bought a truck. Got myself a Neveron. I got this before I got the trade price, which I did actually just get the trade price. Actually got the 20 top threes. Didn't think it was going to be real possible. I know it's not going to be possible to get... The the, uh, the same trade price on my Rusty Jack character, it's it's already Tuesday, so that's yeah, not going to happen. There's just not enough time. So purchases have been made. This was actually bought ahead of achieving that because, well, there's a, a winter storm going on. If I lose power, and then this is unavailable after the 15th, I better get at least one. And I had plans for a couple trucks, so there, there's a couple trucks in play here. So let's let's modify this. I know what you're thinking, hey, that would just work for you. You're the Black Knight, just have a black truck. It doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. But I do have plans for this one. I the plans. I've already done all the, the normal upgrades. Horn. Not sure where I'm going with it. You know, sad trombone will, will come in handy in in these type of races because, you know, if, if someone tries to wreck you and then they go flying off the track, you just hit that horn. And Yeah, kids, we should already. Yeah, we have something there. Yeah, color. Well, I don't want to give away too much here. Let's, let's go to the livery. Tool never refuse a patriot. Cause you got your Shrewsbury shotguns. That has that has some options here. That wasn't the one I was thinking of. Here we go, the lager beer. Which is the delivery I have on my, my saber over on my other character. On that one, I went with the orange juice and toothpaste look. But this, this we're gonna do a little different. We're gonna, we're gonna do something a little more warm. So we go to respray, primary color, metallic. But we're going to go metallic into the browns, like wood beach brown. Wood beach actually looks pretty good. Looks way better than I thought it would actually, but. I was thinking more of a, a deeper warm, like a sienna or a beechwood. Beechwood was actually the, the color I'd planned this around. With that be warm beechwood brown contrasting the mint lager guy here, 41. We got maple brown. Looks, that maple brown looks pretty good. I wonder if that's the frosty brown that yeah, they talk about on the Fail Race channel. I don't know. Felzer brown. Creek Bison. I guess Bison would be a very manly color here. Chocolate brown. Then you're into the blue. So now I'm thinking Beechwood is definitely the uh, the color. What we what we gonna do for a pearlescent? Sienna brown. And that's interesting. It does br the Sienna does brighten it up a bit in just the right way. I will leave that. I like it. For the secondary, cast iron silver. No, 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 no. You can go with like a white, just to, or you know, there's too bad there's not a mint green. Because I was thinking of doing something again, another brown here. But now that I'm looking at it, because you've got so much white in the paint job, in the in the in the livery, that kind of just looks kind of like a little dirty brown. I don't know. It's we look better 
just doing doing a nice white. That does look good. I'm happy with that. I don't think there's anything in the greens we can work. There's no minty. I don't know why we don't have a minty green. We have a lime green. Yuck. That's probably gasoline green might be the closest. Is that close enough? You know what? Let's go with that. Let's go with gasoline green just to be different here. I think the white would actually pick up better in some cases, but that just makes it a little bit different. I'm kind of liking it. We'll go with the gasoline green of the, the lager guy's face. Okay. I didn't think of gasoline green as being properly minty, but the the, the darker highlights it does pick up. Okay. Suspension's already been slammed. The wheels. Now, wheel type. Th this is going to be, as you see, it's a logging truck kind of thing. That's our theme here. And mostly I don't change the wheels on these because it, it looks then like a show truck, not a race truck. But I think with off-roaders, chromed off-roaders, There's a certain old school racing kind of vibe to these because back in the day you had to put off rotors on just so that the car would handle most properly. Rock crawlers, hmm. Mill spec chrome steelies. That is a good look. Is it better than the Amazons, which is what I always put on? Those kind of more match the the NASCAR aesthetic. But am I going for the NASCAR aesthetic? Yeah, I guess it, I think we're going to go with these. We can always change them up. Still a race truck, still a full-on race truck, but we're, we've put these on in case it has tires can clip. I don't think it does. I'm not real sure. But we'll give that a shot. So that that's your build right there. That's that's us done. Oh wait, there's one other thing. Do we do the lights? Do we want to go with white lights? Blue, electric, blue, mint green. I guess the mint green could pick up. It's a little bit more green than this. There's no gasoline green light. You could put crew, crew, as crew clashes a little bit. I think we'll leave it white. Exit the custom shop. Did it That was just LJT. I was thinking of leaving it here. I may yet. Because it did come out with, you know, this whole auto shop kind of special week. I guess it's a good enough parking spot. You can get... I'd like to have at least one spot free in here because you do get some bonuses from... some discounts just for using it. So let's go get the other one. Let's... The other one is just up the road. here at the agency. Now I'm going to have to swap this truck over to the agency just to bring this other one in. For the, do I really care about the discounts? Just for the, the interest of the video. Do I may, want to drive one all the way back down? Do I want to make you sit through that? Hmm. By the way, we have already run this thing up Chiliad in, in the form of the uh, the Jock Cranley orange one that I have over on my other character. But 
There will be a car going up Chilliard there. It just won't be this one. So stay tuned. So it's not going to be this next one either. This one is also not going up Chilead. And truth be told, I don't have a plan for this one. So this one we have to do the whole nine yards. Just got, this was purchased on the discount. I'll show you that in a little bit. We do, we do have it. Horn, I think we're going to go with the musical sad trombone as well. Lights will get to, well, we'll, we'll put the kit on. Did you need that? It does lower your center of gravity slightly, I gather. Livery, now. What are we going to go with here? Then kudo. Do we go full patriotic? Now that could be useful, especially going down the road. If I'm doing uh, a 4th of July special. The Bank of Liberty, that could also work in a 4th of July situation. The Shrewsbury Shotgun, we could we could do this as an alternate. That's, that's not a bad thing. And we could go with the off-roaders on this as well. Hmm. That is a thought. Lucky plucker chicken. That, you know that that uh, that that has kind of a stroke or ace feel to it. So we could do this one, do another, but no. But wait a minute, yeah, stroke or ace. If you haven't seen stroke or ace. is the one I put on my other. So I already have a Jock Cranley. Flint tools. Good look. Could do another Petty inspired build. Go viral. No. You know what? I think we're going to do the Stroker Race. The Lucky Plucker. Stroke Race, it's a Burt Reynolds film about a race car driver who's stuck with a really, really poor uh, sponsor. And he's trying to get, like, Coors or something like that. I forget what, what the goal was in the movie, but they're making him race in a chicken outfit. It's a great movie if you get a chance to see it. Lonnie Anderson's in it. <laughs> you think it's easy driving with chicken feet? I've done some dumb things in my life. This is the dumbest. I want you. You do? Yes. <laughs> this summer, Burt Reynolds is Stroker Race. <laughs> and it's going to take Ned Beatty, Jim Neighbors, Parker Stevenson, Bubba Smith, and Lonnie Anderson to put him in his place. How's this for spectacular? <laughs> Lovely stuff. So for the lights, well, let's see. Well, first of all, let's go with the respray. Primary color. Metallic what? What will be a good... That looks really good there, the frost white, or even the ice white. Let's go red and white. Really sets off the lucky plucker. I feel like that's what it would be. Cream. And purple. Purple. Da, 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 da. I'm open to some color just popping out at me and saying, ooh, this is really goes well with it. Is that a little too McDonald's? That, that might be a little too McDonald's. Orange. Pink. Lucky Plucker. No, it's... You get into the reds. Can we, we could, can we match it up? No, no, you can't. 
None of the reds match. So you got your black lucky fucker kind of look here. That tell you what, nothing's really calling to me like that ice white. With a what pearlescent? The black pearlescent. There you go. Just to tone down the shine, I'm okay with that. Secondary color, I think we're going to end up doing like the same thing. Certainly not surf blue. We could go yellow on this. Like the white looks good, but you know. This is something where I think maybe there's a regular yellow. Actually, race yellow. There you go. Race yellow kind of picks up pretty nicely there. It's a lucky plucker. Uh, let's not, let's keep track here. Yes, we want to make sure all the uh, neon kits, neon color. Could go either red or yellow on this one. Let's go yellow. That livery, respray, suspension, slam down. It seems, I feel like I'm getting better results racing with the, the lowered suspension. Turbo it up. Wheels, tires, tire enhancements. Let us... Yeah, let's stick with the regular race tires on this one. We'll put bulletproofs on it. Uh, tire smoke. We leave the white smoke or with the white or red. I, I think the red's gonna clash. Yellow for caution. If I'm if you see if you're seeing smoke when you're racing this, you got probably issues. All right. So let us exit the vehicle, park it next to the other one. Where is the? I have to move, go down a floor, I think, to get to that. Come on, do it. Move that to there. And so you can you contrast the looks here. Here you've got this kind of specialty off-road. Going for the manly lugger, you know, beer and axes kind of theme with off-road tires. And here you've got the straight-up racing truck. Loosely inspired by Stroker Race, the movie. Uh, lean out a little bit further, Wade. I'm going to make a turn. Now, if I'm honest, Stroker Race falls under the category of things that have not aged well. Yeah. A ladies' man. I think it's important that you be here for this. I'll just undo that and just put that right off of there, and you'll be able to... a man's man. What? Yeah, that scene was in the trailer. So, yeah, there's that. So just keep in mind that it is an old movie, and it may not jive with your sensibilities, as many old movies don't. And now, oh, here, just, just, just to show you that we did do it. We did make the accomplishment. There it is, trade price. And the, the, the Stroke Race one did, did come under the trade price. Calling all trailer heads and chronic truck boys, now's your chance to manhandle one of the most notorious hybrid race trucks on the market. The Hot Ring Everon. You ring the toxic, we'll bring the masculinity. Hybrid race trucks. I don't... I don't know that this has any electric to it. It doesn't accelerate like an electric car, I'll say that much. This thing would be devastating if it if it did have that much acceleration, but these mean are meaningless. So let us switch over and talk about some other trucks. So as you can see, I've also picked up a second truck for Rusty Jack in FOMO. Get it now, because I did want to do a sprunk build on this one, and to that extent, 
I have switched up my crew. So, what are we doing today? As we take this puppy in, it's already kind of green, but oh, here we go with the transaction pending slowdowns again. Now that's some um, let's see, lights, neon kits, neon layout, of course. I don't know why this ever ever since the latest update we get these really it's long transaction pending things here. Crew lights. Livery. Sprunk Extreme. I think that's the only sprunk one, right? Yeah. So we've got the sprunk extreme going. Go for the respray. Respray. Primary color. Crew. Absolutely. Give it the crew. Body work to match the Sprunk the crew. Secondary color. Hmm. Black actually kind of works, doesn't it? It goes with the, the 46. What else could we do? We could go crew with this. Make everything green. Ultra blue. We go white. I think we're, I think we're going to leave it black for right now. Suspension. We'll slam it because that's been working as of late. Race transmission. Turbo. There's not a lot to do with this, really, you know? Wheels. I think we're going to make them bulletproof for right now. And as you pop that dollar in there, you get taken back to a place where life was good. The drinks came cheap. D tier because I look shit. And there you have it. It's fully sprunked up and ready for all kinds of sprunk adventures as we continue to carry the sprunk flag. After that whole E. Cola versus Sprunk debacle, where I'm still convinced that Sprunk won and somehow there were chicanery. It's totally unprovable, but eh. I still love Sprunk. Sprunk, 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 Sprunk. And of course, here's the, the Jock Cranley truck from the other video. I probably should do something different with the setups on one versus the other. I think these are both slammed here. Yeah, did I just did I slam the other one? Let us see. Are they both slammed? It might be just a matter of looks here. What can we do to it? What are you after? Uh, what do we do with the suspension on this? Yeah, it's slammed. Sport suspension. You know what we're going to do? I think here's what we're going to do. See you next time. We're going to leave this one with the stock tires and we're going to do something else with the wheels on the other one. Even though, I said in my other video, it kind of doesn't look right. But I think from a performance standpoint, I mean, do we want to go off-roads on this one? What do you need then? What can I help you with? Like, there's two ways we could go with this. If you go with the high end, what you're counting on is that you'll get more curb boost out of it because you're compressing How the suspension more. The Whereas if you go off-roaders, then you're counting on tires can clip. But you get a lot of tires can clip out of the stock ones anyway. There's not that much more sidewall. So, the experiment... Might be. Let 
could go with something like this. Some really... Are they all the same rubber band? Yeah, they're the same rubber band. Do you want to go carbons? Or chrome? Or carbon -y chrome? There's not a lot of black on this thing. Pick up from. There's some. Does it have a carbon front spoiler? It kind of does. Carbon Inferno. Life is hard when you can have anything. The Carbon Inferno looks functional, but not like overly dainty. We'll go with you. We'll go with that. That counts as Benny's now, because you can do some Benny stuff, I guess. So that's neat. What are my other objectives? No, 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 no. No, we're not playing any tennis. So I said there would be one car to go up Chiliad. So let's uh, do the time warp again and, and, and handle that a little bit. here it is fresh from the prize wheel so let's get revved up this baby's going up chili hard after we get it properly now there, there is a point to the armor plating. you have to do the armor plating in this because it's got I think the best armor plating in the game for some reason something to do with it being electric Bumpers. We're not going to change anything as far as the look, except maybe the spoiler, because it needs a spoiler. Fenders. Yeah, you could do stuff for leaving that alone, because it is a prize wheel thing. I like to keep it as it was on the prize wheel, but we'll spend some money down here. Lights, neon kits, neon layout. That's again another performance enhancing thing. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with the color on this. It's either blue or electric blue. You can't really. The problem with doing this in here is you can't really tell. Or crew brew. We can go with crew on this. That should work. Livery is gonna stay the same. I can I can run them through you here just so you can see what the other options were. Run through them for you. This one, it's nice that the armor doesn't seem to completely mess up the livery. That's nice. Plate will leave as B. Prox mine, of course, you need one. We're not going to respray. The roof, we're not going to change. Skirts. Spoiler. Roof spoiler. Now that's pretty subtle. And it's a little bit forward. It doesn't put as much. Everything else looks like it's pretty aggressive. We're going to just go with a roof spoiler. Doesn't really change the look all that much, but at least now we have, you know, traction. Uh, should we slam this? Competition suspension. The newer cars seem to need it. Wheels are just going to make the tires bulletproof. Mm, blue tire smoke? You might as well. It's very blue. Da ba dee da ba die. And light smoke on the windows. We always do that no matter, you know, it's just so as much as know that we did fully upgrade this. Now, can we, can we launch, why can't we launch jobs from inside anymore? That seems new to me.
All right, let's go. We'll park to the side here. It looks good. Uh, let's see. Does, what does it look like if we do the whole pop the doors thing? Does everything pop open? Yeah. And it's an electric, so you got like trunk space. And trunk space. If I launch the doors, if I launch it with, if I launch the job with the doors open, and get the car with the doors open, that'd be fun. Online jobs, play jobs, my jobs, races, the Chiliad hot lap. Assuming this is in sports. I should have looked, read the little thing on the screen, but I didn't. So you might have to bear with me here. First of all, are we, before we do this, because I've made this mistake, yes, we are recording. Okay. Let us uh, try this time of day, lock it to noon, weather clear. And this, this, customs are on. Play. We're just going to solo it. I wonder if it would happen if I invited people to this. That would just tick people off, wouldn't it? People have no idea. What the heck does this mean? Oh, there it is. The EGT. There's so many sports cars. Might, I might really need this practice right now. That's the point. Okay, I think I finally. Whoa! There we are. Oh, it has it has a, a functioning spoiler as well, which may mean that adding that other spoiler was pointless. So we may take it off. We'll see how it goes. I have to investigate that some more. Still, I mean, you even see it. It's like, it's, it's barely there. We might as well leave it as is. I did not know this had the uh, a functioning spoiler. Totally meant to do that. Which, right now I think if you have a functioning spoiler, that means your spoiler doesn't function. There, there is a glitch. I have to see if, wow, this is a bit torquey and the train's going to hit us pretty soon. Come on. Get off the wall. I just love the wall. Did I miss a checkpoint somewhere? No, the next, that's, that's back. No, that's the next, not the next checkpoint. Okay, knees is fine, yes. That's not the best way of going. We know that. It loses you all your momentum. But we're we're in an electric car. See how quiet, how quiet it is. And so that means it's got tremendous amounts of torque, which should bode well right here. Even if I screw it up, oh my goodness. Brakes, 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 brakes. No, we're not gonna re we're gonna see. Can how let's check its recovery capability. See, all this was intentional. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a good Chiliad car. The steering is very quick on it. I feel like it's, it just does bob and weave a little bit on me here. It takes a, you know, that's a good thing, but it takes a little bit, uh, a little bit of care so you don't yeet yourself off the mountain. I'm guessing it's all-wheel drive, so that's where we're getting that quick steering from here, but... 
And that will work for you very well when you're doing stuff like this. It's a wee woo. A woo and a wee. Now, can we? Well, see that? It kind of oversteer. It has a tendency to oversteer for some reason. At least that's the feel I'm getting from it. Which may be tricky here. I'm not even using the, the throttle. I say the gas, but there's none of that. Tap, 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 tap. And we're spinning again. All right. Let's straighten it out with the throttle. And that actually worked pretty well. Now, full throttle. Brakes, 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 brakes. Otherwise, I'm fairly certain we would eat it right into the, the lumber yard, and sometimes you can't get out. And the train, as always. Hello, train. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not going to blow myself up today. So maybe we'll take that other spoiler off just so we can keep the exact look of the prize ride vehicle. And whoop! Yep, we did it, but we didn't go in the water. Okay. We have options here. None of them are good. Okay, it won't flip at all? Come on. Come on! Look at that! I thought that was I thought we were gonna wait for the train, I really did. Just to kill us. Well this has been one of the more interesting runs. Uh let's see. It's doing well though. The car is great. I, I really kinda like this. Woo! Is it something I would purchase for my other character? Uh, I mean, we could. We've got enough money. It is wildly expensive. I guess I can wait for a sale. Thank goodness it wasn't a FOMO. I can, I can, I can ponder whether or not I want to have the money or the time or the interest to buy it. I mean, theoretically, this would be really good for a public lobby. Really trying to find the best lines here because Sunday I might I might actually try to get in the different and I, I might have a chance because I, I think it's an eighth gear one, which means there won't be a, a player limit, which means there's hope. It's on the EU server, so I don't know how I'll run into any issues with lag. It is very, this is a very bouncy car. We. People say, hey, are you looking to forward to GTA 6? I'm fairly certain that there'll all be bouncy cars in GTA 6. With bouncy bushes. Hey, it makes the jump. Ooh, those bushes. Ooh, those bounces. So maybe not a great G Fred car, but I mean it's not bad. It certainly has the power and traction. And it loves to just do that. Okay, well we're It's visually interesting if 
nothing else. And nice and quiet. I like it. I like that car. Yay! I'm going to leave the spoiler on for now until I can find out if it matters. If it doesn't matter, then I'll take it off. Let's hit the free mode again, as we often do. And into the beautiful sunset. Here we are. With the ability to draw prox mines. Should we just, just mess with this guy? He's not detonating them. That's interesting. <laughs> we'll slick ourselves up here and That guy ran out. He ran away. No more door. Into the bushes with you. <laughs> We're falling down the hill. Yay! It does it does a lot of stunty things very well and then <laughs> I'm not having entirely too much fun at NPCs you know expenses here. <laughs> I'm giving everyone the wonderful experience of drifting. That didn't really seem to affect them all that much. Come on, let's leave some slippy. Not, not slipping much. There's some slippiness. Oh, what? The slippiness actually allowed him to... Oh, there we go. The slippiness got him eventually. And us. Will he get this next one? Nope. That's for oncoming traffic, and here comes some. Still, that's a cavalcade or whatever. It seems like it doesn't seem to mess with the cavalcade too much. Oh, there you go. Slippy, 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 but it recovers. Company car, you say? Now it's all slippery. Not too slippery. All right, I think we've dragged this out enough. <laughs> On that note, ladies, was that clip? That tire is clipping through the wheel. Yes. Yeah, oh, come, no, maybe not. We're all right. Maybe a little bit. It's just an optical delusion. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, now we're good. It doesn't do that. It, it's not clipping. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.
this car'd be disqualified in two seconds flat. Why? Well, the engine's set too far back. You got an oversized carburetor, and nitrous oxide is an automatic six-month suspension. 